Hello, my name is David. I'm the literacy educator at the Eric Carle Museum of Picture Book Art. Thank you for joining a very special story time with the Carl. Joining us today from Springfield, Missouri are Emmeline Johnson and Dan Ketter, musicians and music educators at Missouri State University. Welcome to story time, Emmeline and Dan. Thank you so much. We're so happy to be here. Thank you for the invitation. You know, today we're here to share a special musical performance that we created of a book called Pezzettino by Leo Leone. Can we, can we say that word Pezzettino together? Mm. Let's say it on the count of three. One, two, three. Pezzettino. Pezzettino. Yeah, very nice. Uh, Emily and Dan, maybe you could tell us what that word means. What is a pezzettino? <laughs> well, in Italian, pezza means peace, and pezzettino means little peace. Mm. In this story, the character is named Pezzettino, and he's just a little piece himself. He tries to figure out if he's a little piece of something bigger. We love this story because it's all about what makes each of us special and unique. And today we are going to tell this story with words, with pictures, and with music. So before we get into the story of Pezzettino, we want to take a few moments to show you the instruments you're going to hear and see in today's performance. First of all, I play the flute. I'm a flutist. And the flute is what we call a wind instrument because you use your air, your breath, or your wind to play it. As you can see, the flute is a long metal tube that has a lot of keys all across of it, all across it. And when you blow into it, you can produce a singing and dancing sound. The flute can play in a really big range from low to high, but a lot of the time the flute gets to play a high chirping sound and we often get to play the character of a bird. The cello is what's called a string instrument, like a violin, because it has a lot of strings on it. But this is bigger than a violin. Violins usually you hold under your neck and the cello I hold when I'm sitting down. You can create a beautiful, rich sound on the cello by pulling the bow across the strings. Or even by plucking them with your finger, sort of like a guitar. The cello can play very high, like the flute. But it's best known for playing down low. So beautiful. I love it. Well, when we get to play flute and cello together, we are especially excited. We love the sound of these two instruments together, and it's just so fun to play. And today we are really excited to present to you our musical version of Leo Leone's Pezzettino. We worked with our friend, a composer named Daniel Pesca, to write the music that you'll hear today that helps us tell the story of Pezzettino. Daniel composed specific music for each character we meet in the story, and the music helps you hear what makes each of these characters unique. Let's listen together what a couple of these characters sound like. One of the characters is called the running one, and the running one sounds fast, like somebody running. Another character is the strong one, and the strong one sounds big, loud, and strong. And another character 
character is called the swimming one who gracefully glides through the water. As we watch and listen to the story of Pezzatino, you can listen closely for all these different characters. You'll meet the running one, you'll meet the strong one, you'll meet the swimming one, and you'll meet even more. You'll see each of these characters appear on the screen, but you can also hear them too. So we hope you'll listen out for all these different characters, and we hope you enjoy this special performance of Leo Leone's Pezzatino. His name was Pezzatino. All the others were big and did daring and wonderful things. was small and surely must be a little piece of somebody else he thought he often wondered whose little piece he could be. And one day he decided to find out. the one who runs? Am I perhaps your little piece? How could I possibly run if I had a piece missing, said the one who runs, somewhat surprised. the strong one? How could I be strong if I had a piece missing, was the answer. Swimming one came up to the surface, Pezzatino asked him too. How 
could I swim if I had a piece missing? Answered the swimming one. And he dove back into the deep water. shouted Pezzatino as he climbed toward the one on the mountain. Am I a little piece of yours? The one on the mountain laughed. Do you think I could climb mountains if I had a piece missing? Pezzatino asked the flying one, too. But the answer was always the same. Finally, Pezzatino went to the wise one who lived in a cave. Wise one, he said, am I a little piece of yours? Do you think I could be wise if I had a little piece missing? Answered the wise one. I must be someone's little piece, Pezzatino cried out. the wise one. Early the next morning, Pezzatino took off in his little boat. After a rough trip on the high sea, he arrived wet and tired on the island of Wham. How strange! 
The island was made of nothing but heaps of pebbles. Not a tree, not a blade of grass. And above all, not a single living creature. Petzatino climbed up and down. Up and down. Until finally, exhausted, he tripped, tumbled down, and broke into lots of little pieces. The wise one had been right. Pezzatino now knew that he too, like all the others, was made of little pieces. He picked himself up, and when he was sure there was not a single little piece missing, he ran back to his boat. He rode all night to get home as fast as he could. All his friends were waiting for him. I am myself, he shouted, full of joy. understand what he meant. But Pezzatino seemed happy. And so they were happy too. That was wonderful. Ah, oh, I loved watching that beautiful performance of Leo Leone's Pezzatino. Thank you so much. It has been such a joy for us to be here and share this story today. And even more than that, we really enjoyed getting to know Pezzatino and all of his friends through music. And we're just grateful for the opportunity to share our love for this story about learning to be yourself and celebrating what makes you, you. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you again, Emmeline and Dan, for sharing this story with us and your music with us. On behalf of everyone at the Carl, thank you all for joining us for our story time. We hope you'll join us for our next story time. In the meantime, keep making music, keep celebrating what makes you, you. Bye.